hello guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you are new here as you can tell from today's title you have clicked on this video because maybe you have been in a cycle where you get yourself into a rut you maybe get yourself into a bit of a slump and I really wanted to create a video to help anybody that is either in a slump maybe you have a history of getting in those slumps getting in those kind of negative cycles and my top tips on how to actually overcome them now some of the tips that I'm gonna give you are tips to actually just help you snap out of it but I'm also gonna actually share some tips on how to potentially avoid slipping into the rut as well because a lot of the time there are quite common triggers that can happen that pause in a slump so make sure to grab a drink I have grabbed a Starbucks my drink of choice a cinnamon soya latte normally I get blonde but they ran out of blonde today and I actually really like the normal roast so I might be converted for the time being just to a normal roast rather than the blonde but yeah pause this video grab a drink grab a notebook and pen grab whatever you need and we're gonna dive into this video all about how to get out of a slump and actually get your life back on track get your life back together start feeling productive again start feeling good again and let's get into this video but before we do please make sure to follow me on social media at Jessica Leeming and at the Breakthrough Society I've also got lots of ways that you can connect with me and work with me as well which I'll pop them all in the description below the most popular one is my membership so my membership is 33 pound a month and it's to support ambitious women entrepreneurs in leveling up and having a really safe space to learn grow and connect as well so you'll be able to learn a lot more clicking at the membership link in my description box if you want a good place to hang out a safe space just to learn and grow and make mistakes on your journey then that is definitely the place for you and I would love to see you in there as well so I'll leave all of that linked in the description including my socials if you do want to connect and also if you do enjoy this video I would love it if you could like comment and subscribe as well it's really starting to pick up some traction I think I'm hoping because I'm loving filming these videos so I'd love to have you guys stick around as well let's talk getting into a slump now the one thing that I usually find that triggers me into getting in a slump or getting in a rut is either procrastination has already kicked in I've not got the results that I wanted or I've not really been that organized. And they're usually the three key things when I get myself in a little bit of a rub. Now, I do also want to acknowledge your actual cycle as well. Now, a lot of people that watch these videos are girlies, and I do think it's really important to track your cycle as well because usually it can play quite a big role in your mood, your hormone levels, and I definitely get in like slumpy behavior around my time of the month, but I've really learned to act acknowledge that time and also I now know how I work best in that time I will try and avoid things like client calls having to exert too much energy on calls and I've just really learned to be kind to myself in that situation every month it's up to you whether you want to still try and push yourself when it's that time of the month some people do some people don't I've just learned a little bit of a happy medium to balance it but one of the things that's really important to understand is what has triggered this slump now obviously it can be cycle related Related, but has it been something that's happened in your life has it been just a chain of really unproductive behaviors and now you've got into a bit of a cycle of procrastinating not getting things done you've fallen off and just not really found yourself back on track has something happened in your life that's really caused like a disruption it's just stopped you in your tracks it stopped you in your plan and now you've fallen off I think it's really really important to identify what the trigger is because if you're watching this video and you're putting immense amount of pressure on yourself but actually something has happened in life which you need time to deal with please give yourself that time and this is going to be a little bit of a tough love but also I understand kind of video because there are just some things you need to take time with and I truly believe that however for my girlies that do really want to get back on track I think it is really really important to understand the trigger because number one if you don't actually know the root cause of a problem it's so hard to prevent it again in the future because you don't really know why it happened in the first time so let's say you find yourself in that negative cycle again you're in that rut but you have no idea what's triggered it this time or last time it's really hard to then pinpoint how you might be able to prevent it so for example let's say it is around your time of the month and you just find that you slip straight into this rut 
if you know it's around that time every single month, you can kind of plan accordingly, okay? And this is something I do around my cycle. I know full well I need to get all my videos filmed before I hit that dip because when I hit that dip, I hit it quite hard. I do really struggle with PMS and I don't want to talk to anybody. I'm not trying to talk to anybody when it's that time for me. So I know that if that's coming, I can still remain super productive, get everything that I need done done around that time if that makes sense but also by understanding the trigger you can catch yourself before you actually fall into that rut so maybe you've started procrastinating you're starting to maybe slow down maybe you're starting to fall off you can catch yourself before you really fall because you know full well that this is just a short-term thing you can get yourself back on track and I'm gonna give you some tips as well to help you get back on track but understanding what triggers it is really gonna support you in catching it before it falls and it's the same with any problem we always like to try and catch it before it gets too bad and there's going to be girlies watching this who have been in a slump for days weeks months maybe even a year of a negative cycle where you've just found this constant cycle of just I don't even want to say bad because that has such a negative connotation but just unproductive and unfulfilling habits have just continued 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 and you're not watching this video because you feel comfortable with that so what I mean by like catching yourself before you really fall is just assessing okay what can I maybe do to just snap me out of this right now let's say you've you've boarded the train yeah you've boarded the train we're on the way to getting into slump land yeah what can I do to pull the brakes what can I do just to slow this down and get off the train so that I don't end up somewhere I don't want to be and my biggest biggest tips for getting yourself actually out of the slump once you're in it is find some inspiration I always have to tune into some inspiration watch a YouTube video just like this go on Pinterest make a vision board even if it's for my week guys now I know vision boards are more so for like your goals every month every year maybe five years sometimes I have to literally set my week out and romanticize it to get me to do things and and my biggest tip when you're like trying to find inspiration is ask yourself these two journal prompts and you can journal on them now if you want to pause this video you can journal on them right now but it is where am I right now so where is Jessica Lehman right now who is Jessica Lehman right now and really paint the picture of where you're at right Right now who you are how you're showing up and then ask yourself who does Jessica Lehman want to be but obviously pop your name in there so who do you want to be how do you want to be showing up and usually that question alone of just asking myself what the highest version of myself would be doing right now snaps me straight out of it it snaps me straight out I'm like what am I doing like why am I wanting to be this person but choosing all of these behaviors and I often find that even just asking myself what would the best version of myself do like usually now that's enough of a trigger for me to just get things done and actually get back on track or at least kickstart a habit that is going to help me get back on track so number one is finding inspiration and it's up to you where you find that it can be youtube conversations with your friends meeting up for a coffee with someone and just having a talk about the week ahead it can be maybe planning in some cute things for the week ahead but planning usually comes after the inspiration i feel like usually you have to get your mind to be excited about focusing on getting yourself out of this slump so definitely inspiration Inspiration is number one for me and then number two is planning now I would really take pressure off to plan a crazy amount of stuff because I can guarantee you're gonna leave yourself disappointed if you just decide okay next week I'm gonna go on five runs I'm gonna eat my greens every day I'm gonna do this that and the other I'm gonna make my bed I'm gonna yoga and meditate all of this stuff if you try change everything at once I can guarantee it's gonna last you about three days and then you're gonna fall off one thing it's gonna cause you a chain reaction where you just slip off completely put one foot in front of the other and once you have that inspiration take it one step at a time because even with slumps I know I'm going to be talking about habits now it really is about learning how to put those consistent habits in place and if you're trying to put three feet ahead okay you're going to find yourself losing your footing you're going to find yourself falling off balance because it's not consistent it's not sustainable for you to try and do a million and one things at once so i would really plan in your week but take the pressure off to do everything so even if it's just making your bed 
yeah once that's done then you can assess what you want to do next but it's always the first thing that seems the hardest yeah it's never actually doing the workout that's the hardest it's getting up on the morning and putting your gym stuff on yeah it's that first step that always is the hardest so i would really place emphasis on just the first step and then the second step can follow so really think about what's going to help you snap out of that slump whether it's forcing yourself to go out for a coffee and i know i just used the word forcing let's maybe say romanticize just getting in the car going out for a coffee trying to just snap yourself out of the current situation and this kind of leads on to point number three which is the first step now for me it's something where i have to change it i have to put myself in a different environment yeah i know for me to snap myself out of a slump i need to change my environment that might mean going for a shower that might mean putting my playlist on that might mean getting out for a walk it might mean taking myself out when i'm in a slump i know if i take myself to starbucks i can see it right now it really really helps me because it puts pressure on me to actually get things done because i don't just want to sit in starbucks and be like what am I doing? Do you know what I mean? So changing up your environment can really, really help you get out of a slum. And this is actually a little bit of a bigger one because my actual home environment, I think, is definitely not allowing me to perform at my best anymore i've lived here for four and a half years if you've watched my vlogs my house is actually on the market at the moment but i know that i really need to change up my environment in general in life just to actually excel to that next level and i truly am a big believer that your environment can really really affect your mood not even just from cleanliness in terms of like a clean house gives you a clean mind and a messy house gives you like a chaotic mind but your actual environment can change everything and that's why i am such a big advocate of changing your room around changing your space around maybe even seasonally styling it different so it feels like a fresh environment taking yourself out of your current environment as well if anyone on here is an entrepreneur or a business owner and you find that you work from home you sleep from home you eat at home you're just constantly at home please try and just change up your environment a few times a week because it will really, really help you just get that fresh energy and fresh inspiration. And it really helps you snap out of it as well. And for me, that first step, that first like snap out of it, usually chain reactions the right behaviors so i definitely say focus on the first thing but change up your environment even if you just take yourself out for a drive even if you just go for a walk just try and change it up and yeah like i said i'm a big believer that declutters changing your environment in that respect can really really support you in just getting out of that slump and getting something done and then just kind of going back to the planning i feel like i kind of jumped straight into that but really plan out like what you need to do so for example if i've now gone for a walk and i've snapped myself out usually the first thing i'll then do is go to the shop and restock my food make sure i've got some good food in make sure that i'm organized make sure that i'm planned and again it will stop me then getting distracted falling off maybe in other ways and just having the right stuff at home makes me feel a lot better even if it's like your favorite foods to cook your favorite meals to have just something to actually look forward to and i'm a massive advocate of like rewarding yourself it's how I work I almost condition myself and let's say I don't want to go for a walk but I know I need to I might do things like I'll go on a really long walk to Starbucks then I can reward myself with the Starbucks and then I get to walk home with the Starbucks or I get to work from Starbucks whatever it is attaching that reward helps me so much and that might be something that really helps you get out of a slump is just the emotional connection to the reward that you can have afterwards mm -hmm. and we should really be able to connect with the reward of how we're just gonna feel after snapping ourselves out of a slump but I'm gonna be honest it doesn't always work that way and I feel like when you're actually in that rut and you're in that headspace it's so hard sometimes to see how it's going to get any better so change your environment take that first step but planning is key and if you've got to go to the shop and treat yourself to some new stationery if you've got to color code your google calendar to make it look great then be my guest because i really think you have to do what it takes sometimes to just push yourself and the girlies that know know pretty stationery will help you get more organized nice gym clothes will help you work out it's just kind of like the girl math but I'm gonna say it's girl logic. 
Now, I kind of referenced this in Change Up Your Environment, but having a declutter and getting rid of the stuff. That is one of my biggest tips. Get rid, declutter, just have a little clear out. You'll be surprised at how much money you can make as well by decluttering and maybe selling things on, maybe donating things as well. But just clearing your space helps so much. And usually when I'm snapping myself out of a slump, the first thing I do is stick a washing on, strip my bed, make sure that my bed sheets are clean and try and do everything I can to just really freshen the environment. It's almost like I want to eliminate all the parts that remind me of being in that slump and I just want fresh energy. I like candles, I play music, I get the cleaning done, I tidy up and I just try and get all of the jobs done that I know will make me feel better because usually again it's all about the chain reaction of events and if you can just trigger a positive one chances are you'll enjoy the way it makes you feel and you'll do another one so I would really recommend decluttering getting a fresh space getting fresh sheets just getting fresh everything like I said to get in the new food shop in and just starting fresh and it doesn't have to be a Monday it doesn't have to be a Sunday reset you can do this at any point the only person that gives a Sunday or a Monday any meaning is us yeah you can start fresh on a Wednesday if you need to you can start fresh on a Tuesday it doesn't matter it's what you what feels right for you now once you've kind of decluttered you've got your space ready you're feeling fresh you've had a clear out your space is feeling a little bit empty maybe ask yourself then i would organize i would organize and set a system that's going to help you avoid falling off now it kind of comes back to planning in terms of if you fail to plan you plan to fail and I truly stand by this because when my gym stuff is out the night before and it's all set out it's ready to go my airpods are charged my apple watch is charged my water bottles out ready I am so much more likely to get myself to the gym in the morning than if I'm waking up I don't know where anything is my sports bra is still in the wash it's not even been washed yet and I start with a chaotic energy I cannot tell you how much harder it is to have to overcome all of those barriers and this is why planning is so important because it strips those barriers away and if you're in a rut if you're in a slump I can guarantee you now any possible obstacle that can stand in your way is the perfect excuse not to get it done yeah the fact that something's in the wash perfect excuse okay I can't go to the gym I can't get it done even though you could maybe go for a walk and substitute it your mindset's already trying to look at excuses anyway so you want to eliminate those obstacles the best that you can and eliminate those barriers from actually getting it done the best that you can and this is what I mean by systems now organization is lovely and organizing your things neatly and color coordinated is brilliant and it looks really nice but if you can start organizing your life that has a system to follow guys I promise it will really help you level up and again it removes those obstacles of being able to be productive so for example before you go to bed a system could be and it could just be a little process popping your Apple watch on charge making sure your airpods are on charge putting a peppermint tea in your mug ready for the morning yeah it could be putting your gym stuff out ready it could be packing your bag ready for the day ahead the night before it could be having your bed linen spray and crease release next to your bed so that when you make your bed you spray it you feel good whatever that system is that you feel like you need really think about the things where you often find the most obstacles it could be as simple as you don't have a basket for as soon as the washing's done so it make, means that you leave the washing in the washing machine for a little bit too long because you've just got to grab it all out it's, it's a bit annoying then you don't really have anywhere to put it getting yourself a collapsible basket that can just slot in on top of your washing machine you can open it out put your washing in and then go and take it and pop it on the radiators or in the dryer wherever it is that could be a system in itself and again it's not about being really anal because i'm not yeah i'm not and you're speaking to a girl that just has systems that work for her and it might be as simple as making sure my laptop's charged ready for the morning it's got my notebook next to it it's got my book that i need to read in the morning on top of it and then i've also got a tea bag in my mug for the morning it might be as simple as that but finding systems that really really work for you is going to help you and it could be meal prep it could be putting your trainers by the front door so that you're ready to go it could be having your card holder in your bag ready with the shopping bags so that you can go and do the food shop 
whatever it is systems are really going to help you especially if you can quite easily fall off you want to give yourself the least amount of obstacles yeah to allow you to get back into that slump now i do feel like i've kind of referenced the morning a lot in terms of prepping for the morning ahead and i cannot tell you guys how much a morning routine will support you in having a good day but it's not just important to have your morning routine in check it's important to have your midday routine in check and your evening routine they are all just as important as the other and i feel like there's so much emphasis on just the morning and it is really really important to get your morning routine right because i am a big believer that if you win the morning you can win the day and if you can start the day with your best foot forward chances are that's going to continue for the rest of the day and even problems that we might face throughout the day i truly believe you face them 10 times better by just having a strong morning than you would if you start the day off in a little bit of maybe chaos let's say that you have rushed out the door you've forgotten things you've had to go back in the house you just your mind is a mess i can guarantee you if somebody cuts you up in traffic the way you're going to feel when that happens versus if you have a really good morning routine you're feeling good someone's cut you up but you can get over it you are so much more resilient in my opinion and you can just bounce back things don't affect you as much when you're in a better mood and you've had a better start to the day so really ensuring that you have a morning routine that works for you and that makes you feel good is really important and i don't mean yoga meditation lemon water green juices all of that kind of stuff if that's not going to work for you that's okay the focus of this is getting you out of slump not being the most highest most productive version of yourself right now we're trying to just get ourselves out the slump make sure that we're still being productive and having a good day so so your morning routine might be as simple as making your bed having a coffee and writing your three priorities out for the day if that's it and that works for you then that is absolutely fine and if it's more than what you've done we're making progress so obviously your morning routine is really important now i would really recommend getting outside being one no caffeine for the first 90 minutes of the day i did used to struggle with that but i'm getting a little bit better i'm now having a peppermint tea to start with think about exercise now it doesn't have to be the gym it doesn't have to be extensive it can just be even walking to go and get your coffee maybe just scheduling in an hour walk to go and grab your coffee get your steps in get some fresh air and you could even listen to a podcast at the same time you could literally do three or four really really positive habits in one activity so there's definitely ways to get more done but just starting your morning right is so important i love to read i love to journal sometimes people like to journal on an evening and i truly understand why because sometimes i will journal on a morning and even though i'm getting everything out of my brain it can kind of trigger a cycle of maybe thoughts that have happened but i would much rather that happen in the morning than just before i go to bed and then just feel like i've brought it all to the surface and then i can't sleep because sleep is so important sleep is so important and i'm giving you guys like tips that are maybe over and above this but if your nutrition your sleep your water intake is not right i can guarantee that's going to affect you in some way now i'm not a doctor i'm not a nutritionist in the slightest but i can guarantee if you can get your sleep right your water intake and you're eating right you're going to feel a lot better you really really are so like i said morning routine is really important but so is your midday and your evening and people often neglect the midday routine because we're so focused on starting the day right and ending the day right but we've got to make sure that in that little lull we're still maintaining productivity and my best tips for a midday routine are things like breaks switching it up and maybe focusing on an activity that is so different so for example if i am working on loads of admin i might have a break watch a youtube video get really creative and film something for example sometimes i just need to break my brain out of the monotony the monotony is that the word the like monotonous task of just doing things over and over again i need the break and if i don't have that midday i can guarantee it's gonna hit me later and i'm gonna have quite an unproductive or a bit of like just a not a bit of a negative evening let's say if i haven't done something just to break up the day so my midday routine will often include going out to the shop running an errand going out for a walk going and grabbing a starbucks changing my environment of some sort because if i'm just sat at my desk or in my house working all day 
I can guarantee that by five or six o'clock, <laughs> my energy has slumped significantly. And then this is usually where I find myself not making the best dinner choices. Maybe not making the best choices in the evening, just sitting on my phone rather than getting things done. And this is why I think getting the midday right as well is so important because it sets you up for that evening. Now, your evening routine should be something that winds you down. And again, I know this isn't a video for your daily routines but again it's really going to support you if you can find a process or a flow that really works for you and evening routines can be as simple as reading a book skincare journaling and getting into bed it doesn't have to be extensive and it truly is up to you i have stopped reading fiction books wait I can't remember what's fiction and non-fiction now. I've stopped reading self-development books before bed because they trigger my mind too much and my mind starts thinking and I start thinking about business ideas and things to do the, in the morning, etc. So I often read self-development in the morning, but you could read maybe a non, I can't work out if it's non-fiction or fiction, like a storybook on an evening maybe. But again, it's completely up to you. It's just finding a routine that you can stick to. And again, if you can find a routine that ingrains in your life as well as brushing your teeth does, as well as brushing your hair does every day or whatever it is that you consistently do every day, if you can ingrain routines into your life, you're going to be so much less likely to feel unproductive, to start procrastinating, to fall off track when you've got systems and processes that can really, really help you in just remaining on track. And I think I'm going to end it there because this is like the third clip and this is 10 minutes long. So I'm going to stop it there. But like I said, finding out the trigger is really going to support you in catching yourself before you fall into that slump and maybe just do some work over the next month or two. Just analyze your moods, the way you're feeling, how your weeks are going, maybe when you've had the most productive days versus when you haven't and just see if there's any real obvious common denominators that you can maybe learn to work with. So yeah i'm gonna love you guys and leave you this was my attempt of getting me out of a slump taking myself to starbucks at half past three to film this video because i was starting to get in a slump today guys and you know why it's because i didn't get changed when i got out of bed this morning i brought my duvet down i remained in my dressing gown and i really started the day wrong and i decided okay i might have started the day wrong but I don't have to end the day wrong. And that is why we are here in the car filming this video for you guys because I have them too. And I think the biggest misconception that we have is like if you start the day bad, it's going to end bad. It doesn't have to. And I'm living proof of that. I'm going to the shop after this. I'm going to get some baking supplies. I'm going to bake and then I'm going to edit this for tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.